I did leg day like three days ago at this point and my legs are still killing me. What happened? What did I do? What deity did I piss off? Let me release me from this torment, please. That's all I ask. Even when I am not playing Ogryn, it is never four, always three. Cousin, oh, it's Cousin Okri from Fermentide. Very cool. <laughs> Saj says it's me job to get shot. I was very good at me job. Very nice. God, that'd be a terrifying thing to be in, to be a little little person surrounded by Ogrins. Uh, oh, I, so I bought the, the Space Marine board game, just because I kind of, I was like, you know what? I want Titus for my army. Might as well do it now before it gets sold out for the holidays or whatever. So, obviously, I, I as I mentioned in the last episode, I'm listening to a cyberpunk audiobook, cyberpunk 27 audio book called No Coincidences, and I'm a few hours into it. I'm like maybe just a little, just like four or five, four hours into it. It's 14 hours in total, um, and it's pretty good so far. It's it's kind of going slow at the moment since it's like kind of like five or six storylines or five or six different characters whose storylines are going to converge, and I'm at the con the start of the converging point between two of the characters. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, and it's pretty good. It's got all the cyberpunk juiciness. I was not expecting to hear uh, the voice actor for V, also, who also voices like Luffy, uh, not Luffy, a Lucy from uh, Fairy Tale and a bunch of other characters. Well, I'm going to look up her... I'm going to... Open Audible up real quick just to see uh, da, 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 title details. Who's voiced by? Just to get a name, Jeremy Lay. Uh, there's a scene where she she just like says she like straight up like like he had a huge cock. I was like, oh my god. Hello. Whew. Getting spicy. Then there was like uh, her like. Uh, She's well, this line is like oh, wait, it's talking about a stripper how like she was showing off her chrome veg, or chromed veg, and it, for if you don't know chrome, in Cyberpunk 27 is like slang for your augmetics. It's like if you have like a, uh, like a set of like robot legs, that's like you got chrome legs, you know, even if the color of the legs aren't chrome, you know. Kind of Mad Max kind of style Chrome. I guess. Uh, no, maybe not Mad Max. But nonetheless, sometimes it's just because you like in Cyberpunk she did swear a lot, right? She's voicing the main character V, but it's just like <laughs> it's just it was a bit of a shock, mostly because in like Warhammer books you don't get, which is what I normally listen to the most. You don't hear shit like that. It's like it was a bit of a, a shock, a culture shock, if you will, from. But it was funny. The book's good. The book's got a lot of the, uh, like, cyber, like, Night City kind of, like, Night City nobodies, if that makes sense. Uh, which is really enjoyable. And it is very interesting because obviously Jeremy Lay is a like full blown voice voice actor, not just an audible voice actor. Not that audible voice actors aren't voice actors; they are voice actors by you know. But she's like a very like she has a wide variety of voices. 
uh, or surprisingly wide variety of voices and stuff. It's very, all very good. And I just, I love the cyberpunk slang, like Ganex for like people who aren't chromed, or in Borgs for people who are, you know. Also, there's a Johnny Silverhand mention. I was like, yay, that's my boy. It's my son. Like Johnny Silverhand mentioned, Pog. Also, one of the characters' name is like Zor Zor Zorg or something, or Zor like Zor. It's something with a Z. I can't remember if it's Zorg or it's Zor. I think it's Zor. Um. Uh, but he's like an old. He's like a former soldier. And he's like kind of got, but I, in my head I picture him as Ryan Gosling. Is that weird? Like, or not an old soldier. He's like a younger character, but like he was a soldier for some corp, corpo. Agritech, I think, or something. I need to brush my teeth. Yeah, I can feel the film of the that mo coffee monster I had fucking my shit up. Should have brushed for a recording, but I didn't think about it till now. But now that I'm talking, I can feel it. I think our homeboy got launched. Uh oh, don't slam. Oh, don't slam. Thank you. Could you cease to hit me with fire? It hurts my feelings quite a bit. I'm recording, right? Yeah, we're good. Uh, yeah, and I'm looking forward to the finishing this book because. Uh, I think it's written by the people who wrote, or some, like one of the persons that wrote actual the actual game. So it's looking pretty good. Oh, and more like fun. Uh, Mutes is like getting like a uh, flatline. That's always just a fun one for getting murdered, getting frosted. Uh, um, or just ignore my everything, that's also cool. Uh, some other eddies, obviously, for the money. I don't know what the eddies actually are called. I assume that's just like some weird crypto thing. Where? Below? Above? Oh my god. Got him. That's a brutal spot for a sniper. Oh, also, there's a... There's a, also like an aspect... It's kind of a... It didn't show the full, so I don't know if it's gonna come back. But there's like a scene with a cop. It's like a Jim Gordon-ass... And I'm kind of looking forward to uh, looking forward to that. Oh, they also they call uh, they call cops badges, and that's pretty freaking dope. Is that a red barrel? I think it is.
Oh my... <laughs> what just happened to me? Oh my god, I got three tabs. Oh my god, move, move, move! Oh my god, shotgunners. I hate shotgunners. Bombers, man. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Die. Oh, Starfield comes out this week, um, so good for all the Starfield enjoyers. I personally won't be getting it. Uh, uh, I'm not a big Be Bethesda game enjoyer. You know, I, I'm not a big fan of Skyrim. I never couldn't get, I can never get in, fall in the Fallout really. So it was just one of those things where like. Good for all the people that are going to enjoy it, but me personally, I'll be watching the sidelines as people are happy. Uh, wow, hey, whoa. That's a crusher. Don't. Thank you. Uh, anything else come out this week? I don't think so. Oh, Prion Nexus has get, got pushed back till next month. Uh, and by next month, I mean September. Which is basically now, just like two days away. I suspect there's no upper limit on the backup we need. Can never have enough backup. Medicaid station! I'll tell you, just because I have corruption. Uh, what else? else juicy happen? Not particularly. Can I push the grenade? Can you do that? I'll have to see if I can do that. If I can push the grenade with the, um, the force blast. Or if I just, like, hit him with the force blast when his arm was in a funky position. Which is a possibility. I'm gonna drop down here with the boys. You know, I'm, one thing I am not looking forward to is painting Captain Titus' face. He has a 5 o'clock shadow, and I'm notoriously not good at painting faces. I typically avoid it at all possible. So I'm thinking, do I commit the egregious sin of putting a helmet on Captain Titus? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Maybe I can do a... If I make an incredibly thin layer of paint, maybe it can make a, uh, the skin pattern look okay. Like, I mean an incredibly thin. Since before, I, like, I kind of just, like, paint it on without worrying about it. I don't really do the eyes, but Captain Titus' like, face is pretty expression. Maybe it'll come with a helmet, though. That's, I, you know, I don't know. If it comes with a helmet, I'll be putting it on for sure. Also, I'm tempted to base Captain Titus' model, since he's actually, like, a character, but also I'll, I kind of I'd rather be dead in the ground than base sometimes, you know? Yes, yes, blow through me. It's a good, it's a, it's a curious thing of what I'm gonna do. And in this household, he's Captain Titus. Titus. I don't care if he was demoted. He'll always—he's the hero of Gry, and he'll always be Catman under this roof, so long as I breathe. And even then, I'll come back as a warp and a shard of the Emperor to keep 
his captain title. My flame is getting blocked by the Ogren. Oh no, it's not. Or not my Ogren, the other Ogren. I'm helping. Pop something. Or bada bing bada boom. Oh yeah, the uh, the zero day part two of Superman, episode ni uh, nine, I believe, maybe eight, uh, came out and of my adventures with Superman, and it was pretty good. It was all right. Yeah, uh, I don't still don't think it's the best. It wasn't the best episode in the series, but I'd say it's a solid eight out of ten. Uh, one thing I do wish, I wish that the fight scenes, the fight scenes so far has been pretty unsatisfying, except for anything that's not Slade Wilson. Uh, although Part 7's fight scene was pretty satisfying when Superman was getting his ass whooped uh, in a gang up fight after he'd been like surviving on nothing but Red Bulls for about five days. Uh, that was pretty good, but like he fought a giant monster, like Power Ranger ass monster, Power Ranger villain ass monster, and it just wasn't, it didn't really like, it was just kind of whatever. I mean, it was kind of cool the way he did it, but it ended up wasn't. I hope that the the fight scenes get a little more crazy in the future. But if they don't, the show's still good. The show's like a kind of a silly rom com anyway. Slice of life, silly. God, three brain bursts doesn't kill a, or two brain bursts doesn't kill a mutant. Grimmy, I'll take it. Fuck it, I'll hold it. Although if I get triple shotgun, it's Jova for me. What was that? Maybe talking about the mutant. I feel like I've missed context of the things happening here. I just see three Ogren just running through the crowd, doing their own damn thing. I respect it. They are all, all pretty much out of ammo. I gotta stay as far away from the boss as humanly possible because I have the Grimmy. I shouldn't have the Grimmy, but I, I mean, either way, I'll be fucked on the corruption anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter who's got it. Kinda glad I didn't take the uh, lightning staff here, because we definitely need the damage of the flame staff. For Scherzers. Explode. Uh, and then there was also another episode of Jobless Reincarnation. It was pretty good. There was a pretty cool scene in it, although... We're currently in the part of Jobless Reincarnation where nothing kind of happens because we're following Rodeus throughout his like struggles as like a young adult. Or like his life as a young adult in college, so it's like, whatever. Help out here with some brain bursts. That guy. Clear up all the way. Oh my god, a rager went through. Respectfully, go away. Oh yeah, the... 
he said in the chat it's a nice touch that enemies that will kill each other to get through us. Friend the enemies have friendly fire in this game, and not just like the crushers and the flamers and all that. Uh, normal enemies will shoot each other and kill. Like, you could... It, does, it takes a lot since they have reduced friendly fire damage, but... You know. Oh, shit, that could have killed me. <laughs> that would have killed me, I think. Uh-oh. gonna try to clear up as much of the corruption as possible since I think I took some from taking chip damage. million things and none of them are dying. Well, they're all dying, but they're all, like, respawning, essentially. Get that out, get out of here! Biscuit on a stick. Okay. Where's this fine gentleman? I respectfully have to stay as far away as possible from this thing. I'm applying my debuff. Don't explode the head. Got it. How many voices? We got it. It's a crowd. Some, some, three's a crowd. I don't remember this tactical rock being here. Then again, I. Oh my god, I almost just died. Got the gunners, nice. Alrighty. They say Robote Gulliman's returned. Gulliman's. One of them. In stories, he is not the strongest. Stronger than you. I mean, he's the strongest in terms of, like, supply lines. <laughs> and making you pay taxes. Abaddon will pay taxes under Gilliman's rule. You don't get to shoot me. Illegal. This next part's a bit rough. Fair enough. Engaging war protocols. Worthy of a hot shot in 
I just gotta be wary about things spawning behind me. Hand behind rocks and shit. Into the wall. Okay. Could have sworn there was someone up there, but I guess not. A little blast of flame. No Seems ideal. Oh, almost just died. How many of you actually know what protocol means? Not a single one of them. Ogren get ammo is good ammo. So true. <laughs> so that really <laughs> A suspicious lack of enemies here so far. Thank you, Ogren. Is that a med station? That was uh, scary seeing those shotgunners. And pick the ammo as well. Oh. Why was it like stuck to my ear? Is that a rare inspect? Was I listening to it? Get out of the way. Been trapped in here before, Look at this book. So icky. Shady past. Dislikes talking. I like. Okay, got the screenshot for the thumbnail, we're good. <laughs> Little one's always almost dead. So true. Got to keep an eye behind me. Cool, I got a brain burst off with the flamethrower. Oh. Oh, that was very nearly just died there. Oh my god, the other ogre got launched off. I live this. Just stop me. Reduction. 
Nice. Ooh wee. That was a that was a that was a toe clencher that game for sure. I have so little HP. Oh my goodness, this book. Stay away from me, Rages. I swear to I swear I swear to the Emperor. You will know my judgment. Nice, that was oof. put your finger in him. Stab his wounds. There you go. I couldn't even see me, I was hidden. Then <laughs> with an 07. Nice, we got attack axe out of it. Well, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Kind of a banger of a game, if I do say so myself. Have a good one. Make sure to brush your teeth. Or don't. I'm not your mother. Have a good one. I said that twice, but you're getting it twice. Have a good one. Have it thrice.